You're watching Backyard Tech. Well, if like old mate, your default web browser is the ever reliable or used to be the ever reliable Mozilla Firefox, undoubtedly over the weekend, like myself, you found your Firefox somewhat balked. This is due in part to apparently a certificate error that caused extensions and add-ons within Firefox to go into a legacy state and no longer be supported. Well, apparently all's good now, but not everyone is going to actually be happy about it. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Firefox fixes the extensions and add-ons for everyone, but legacy users. This is Backyard Tech News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning and I saw this one come in overnight and I thought, look, we'll get a news story out on it because like I said, if like old mate, you use Firefox, we had nothing but chaos over the weekend. And um, I've always found Firefox to be utterly reliable. This is the first time I've come across, for me personally, Firefox in such a state that it's nigh on useless. Now, those of you who use Google Chrome and the open sourced Chromium are probably laughing all the way to the bank on this one because yours worked perfectly well. Let's, uh, let's get into this. Firefox fixes balked extensions for everyone but legacy users. If your Firefox add-ons were balked over the weekend, you're not alone. Late on Friday, many Firefox users found, their, found that many extensions were suddenly useless or impossible to install after Mozilla pushed out an update to version 6604 of its browser. Effectively, it left many users having to figure out their own workarounds to use their ad blockers, password managers, and many other types of extensions. But after furiously scrambling for a few days, Mozilla has some good news and bad news. The good? It released a fix that restored extensions for the majority of users on Firefox 66. As of this writing, Mozilla said, has said it's been rolled out for both desktop and Android. I'll just stop there. My Android Firefox on my phone did not balk. Okay, I haven't had a problem with Firefox on my phone, but I've definitely had a problem with it on the main PC, the Mac, and uh, my media PC. As well as uh, ESR users on versions 66.2. It also tweeted that the fix would be automatically applied and that users don't actually have to do anything. So now for the bad news. Legacy users on older versions of the browser are still out in the cold. Why not just update to the latest version? Well, there are actually a lot of reasons why users might not want to update. That includes everything from using an add-on that is no longer being updated or supported, or because they're using older computers that don't have enough that don't have the juice to support newer browsers. And ticked off users are taking to Twitter to let Mozilla know <coughs> how they really feel about the whole thing. I've got to say that Mozilla's Twitter feed is, it's active. Believe you me, it is active. It doesn't help that this, that, uh, let me start that again. It doesn't help that in this blog, Mozilla discouraged workarounds discussed in community forums as, quote, they may conflict with fixes it is deploying. Gizmodo has reached out to Mozilla to see if, there, if it plans on addressing these concerns, but did not immediately receive a response. According to Mozilla, the whole mess is a result of an expired certificate for signing new extensions and it is unrelated to the recent add-on policy update. I'm 
Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just going to. I'm not going to say anything about that. Although some of my closest good friend viewers will know what's going through my head at the moment over this one. The policy update is more about eliminating security risks for future add-ons by no longer accepting extensions with obfuscated code, or quote, obfuscated code, close quote. The policy changes also state that Mozilla will be more proactive about blocking extensions. Those policy changes go into effect June 10 this year. Now, I'm not going to say anything about that. Um... I'm going to keep that one to myself. Normally I would, but I'm just going to keep that one to myself. So uh, by the looks of it, I've had my main PC's been fixed. The media PC's been fixed. The other half's laptop was only affected for about six hours today, or yesterday, I should say, um, Sunday. What day is it? <laughs> um, look, I like I said at the beginning, I've never had a problem with Firefox being balked in this fashion for me personally now look i say this all the time and people can't get it through their heads for me personally i have never ever had a problem with firefox up until now now the chromium users are going to be laughing all the way to the bank on this one and so are those who use google chrome because Firefox is now not, well, at least I don't see it as reliable as it once was. But I've got to say, I, I, there's something else at play here. There is clearly something else at play because this happened out of the blue. There was no warning of this happening. Mozilla didn't even put out on their Twitter feed, uh, everyone, we, we've got a bit of a problem here. Snap, crackle, and pop. It just happened. So, yeah, I'm... i got to say, if you are a legacy user, I'd be getting on Mozilla's Twitter feed and, and letting them have it. Um, you know, there are some people out there that whatever add-on or extension they're using is no longer either being developed for Firefox or because of Quantum's new engine, for want of a better term, those extensions and add-ons, they're not compatible under the new um, Firefox platform, and thus those users can't update because, for whatever reason, they need those extensions and add-ons. Oh, well. I guess you can now say Firefox is in bed with the rest of <laughs> the web browsers out there. And you've got to remember, Mozilla was affected by this by default. This didn't just affect Firefox per se. This affected Mozilla's entire web browser platform. So there we go. I can tell you now, the users of you know, Google Chrome and Chromium and those who still use IE are laughing all the way to the bank on this one because... It's now clear Mozilla really stuffed this one up, didn't they? There we go. New story to start a Tuesday. Stick around. System building coming up shortly. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.